Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert the old dynamic bones to the new physics bones. So you have your model here, it's set up, you don't need to delete anything or delete dynamic bones or anything. All you need to do is import the new SDK which you can get from the VRChat Discord. Which I will link to down below to the post with the SDK. So you hit import on that, it'll overwrite the current SK you have, so it's all good. So import that. So then once that's imported, all you have to do, open the control panel like you would normally. I'm just gonna drag it over here. And, and you obviously need to log in. So I'm just gonna do that. Bomb, go to builder and down here it says this avatar uses deprecated dynamic components upgrade to fizz bones to guarantee future compatibility and as you can see it does have dynamic bones so you hit auto fix and then this pop-up comes up the operation will remove dynamic bones and replace them with fizz bones components this process attempts match settings may <coughs> need adjustment this is not Reversible, so please make it back before continue. Okay, but that's okay. Um, actually, I will just in case you know, because you never know. Okay, we will hide that one. We'll call this one test, and autofix, and we'll proceed. And there you go, done. Pretty much, it's all the same, really. It does remove, um, sometimes it removes uh, colliders. It removes colliders sometimes. So what all you have to do, you can easily re-add them, and I'll show you how to do that. So you want ones on your pam. So we'll go to hips, spine, chest. We'll do each arm. So I'll do the left arm first. We'll do the hand. Right click. This is just how I add them. You may have your own way. We'll name it Collider. <coughs> if you create an empty, you can just easy, easily resize it. So you add component, VRC, where is it? Oh, it might be called something else. Let's see here. Um, wait, he is born why hmm oh here we go this bone collector okay there we go so it's a little green dude move it along boop it a boop like so and that's that one done you can easily resize like that because it's on an empty so it won't um uh actually stretch the armor or the hand or anything so we'll do the same on the other arm go down here lower right click hand create empty on this one call it collider and we'll do the same again vrc fizzbone collider and then we will just move it along so it's actually in the hand now, there we go, that is that done. Good to go now, and we are ready to upload. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Bye for now, peace.